Today I'm going to feature some awesome beaver bullion hand poured silver and I'm going to give you the JDRF charity walk update on how the t-shirt sales and donation drive went. Thanks for all your support. Please remember to like this video. It really helps get them out there. Try and get each video to 100 likes and remember to subscribe. Welcome back everybody, Canadian Silver Saver here and today I've got an awesome feature with some beaver bullion, hand poured, hand stamped, uh, just wonderful little coins uh, or rounds that he's made and uh, I'm also going to show you the update of what happened with the uh, JDRF charity drive to help support the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation to help find a cure. Uh, we did quite well with it, just uh, hit just under the $500 mark we were aiming for. Had uh, quite a few t-shirts sold and, and some donations come in. Thank you so much for all of that. And I'll, uh, in the video here at the end, I'll, uh, I'll show you the update on that and you can see where those donations went and uh, some pictures and uh, maybe even a little clip of us at the walk or so. so. All right, let's uh, get to the beaver bullion stuff here. Now, as we know, John, uh, I just showed this one here. This was the uh, 150th anniversary one. These particular ones are actually sold out now. Let's see if we can get a better focus. Here we go. Uh, with the ones that are dated are. Now, the ones that aren't dated, still available at the coin shop. Head on over there. So that's uh, something that uh, was recently from Beaver Boy, and I just wanted to, I thought it was appropriate for the video. But he's also doing uh, some more of my hockey sticks. So these are back in. Um, they're selling quite quickly there might only be a couple left uh, by the time this video gets on there um, but uh, they're absolutely awesome love them um, let's see if I can get a little bit better and a bit of a glare there you go, two ounces CSS right on there so they're, they're a nice even two ounce now so we're going to get the same every time um, so they are available on the website, plus lots of Tomoko's Enterprise stuff has come in, so I encourage you to go in there and check that out as well. Um, and uh, so what this is what I've, uh, the new items that I've picked up from uh, Beaver Boy and just for myself, and he's doing these really cool uh, hand poured little, little rounds. And this is on the bottom, he's got his Beaver Boy logo there, a little beaver. But this is the Egyptian hieroglyph for silver um, that he's made. Now that what's everything from start to finish is he's done. So the uh, die that he was made to stamp this, he hand carved that die. So it's got that very old school um, handmade look to it. And you'll see that this is these are all half ounces. So I picked up four of these. Um, these were a pretty sweet little little bundle that I was able to pick up. And this was back at the coin show. Um, was, uh, the Coin Expo, sorry, in Toronto there. Um, so a few things here that I've just been haven't had a chance to get to and show off properly. Um, but I thought it was really really nice to have a few of these, so I picked up two ounces worth of those. Um, so dude, it's just doing some great stuff, and I I, I love the the half ounce the way it's stamped there on the on the back, rustic look to it. Oh, there we go. Nice and chunky. Each one's completely unique, of course, because of the design. So. All right, there, wonderful. So head on over to the coin shop. Uh, they have these as well as um, on his website. They have them. He has them through eBay, so they're sw pretty sweet. I don't know. I think I need to get more. I just love that kind of that. Uh, had a little con little pirate chest full of these too. Or add these to some of the pirate bullion that I've been doing that with. Really awesome. Okay, cool. So I love this stuff. Um, really looking forward to more that's going to be coming from John. He's going to be doing more for me. Uh, just doing some wonderful stuff. I've got some cool new molds being made. And uh, the hockey sticks will uh, be available. They're a little bit uh, hard for him to pour. Um, so I don't get a lot in it at the same time. And I've got some skulls that I'm going to have come back in soon as well. So if you want a skull, let me know. Now I think it's time to talk about the JDRF, the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation Walk to Cure. Uh, we did quite well with that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the video on that now. And uh, thank you so much, everybody. It was a great uh, couple of weekends and uh, a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to supporting more charities throughout the year. And hopefully I can really get a lot of support uh, on the next one as well. 
So it was a great uh, couple of weekends. I have just some uh, video here for, and some pictures of us at the walk and going about our day. I didn't have to do any speeches or anything this year, which uh, I've done for many years in the past. I'm sadly no longer with that company, so I'm not uh, uh, asked to do it. And a lot of the people that were doing the, the stuff, uh, the JDRF locally, um, they weren't uh, they weren't there anymore. They've all gone on to different areas, some out east and things like that. So uh, it was a lot of new faces and new setup and uh, quite interesting, a lot of a lot of great times. And uh, you'll see we have our own shoe that was up there, so that'll be in the video. And, uh, uh, you know, it was a great time, and we, we did a lot to help uh, raise money for these kids and help find a cure, and I think that's desperately needed. Uh, these have to grow up way too fast because of this, and uh, it's uh, quite challenging for them. So... Um, all right, so we raised four hundred and twenty dollars. You can see here, uh, which is pretty awesome. We were a little bit shy of that five hundred dollar goal, but that's okay. It's still uh, every every little bit helps, and you never know that one of those dollars might be the dollar that finds a cure or helps towards another cure. So uh, there's a lot of research that they work together with other uh, charities and that. So um, just every every little bit helps, and I was really proud to say that we were able to do that, and it was a great time. So. Alright hey everybody, here we are in the actual registration tent now and we're going to go over here and see all the shoes that people made some wonderful donations, putting all their money in to help out these kids find a cure. And there's our banner right there. Awesome. Very cool to be up there. I'm very happy to support these guys for another year and hopefully uh, soon we'll be finding a cure for these kids. I'll keep you all updated. Take care. Here we are, everybody, coming up to the uh, finish line at the walk. We have, that's where you afterwards you get like hot dogs and sausages, and it's all uh, covered by the people here, donated by Pillars. See you going through the walk, and we get us going through the finish line here. Yeah. Here we go, crossing the old finish line. And there. Yay, we finished. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the video here, the little, little clips at the end uh, of what we did. And uh, yeah, it was a great time. Take care, everybody. And we'll see you on tomorrow for Silver Hunt Sunday. Canadian Silver Saver.